The following video has been approved by the JD marketing team. It is rated JD for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. G'day mate and welcome back to Timberborn with me JD. We've just finished our first campaign. Our first campaign playing with the oh, Iron Teeth. The Iron Teeth on, well, a normal map. A normal map. And I decided I enjoyed Timberborn so much. We're going to play with the folktales this time. And at the same time, we're going to go for a custom map. Custom map link. If I can find the link, I will say if I can find the link. You will find down in the description. And we're going to go for a hard map. Um, why? Because, well, why not? Now, a few things I do want to mention. Um, I don't really know anything about hard apart from the water doesn't flow more often than it does flow. But with that out of the way, let's look at our brand new map. So our brand new map, as you can see, comes with plenty of water. There's, there's a whole basin of water over here. Our colony is nowhere over here. Um, it also has plenty of dry area across the map. And, um, you know, plenty of water over here. Our colony is nowhere near this. And water, no, our colony is not over here. And dry area and more water. And we start in the exact opposite corner to that giant basin. Yep. Um, okay. At the same time, I have found a very important feature. I have found out how to uh, auto name our beavers. So we need to thank and welcome Droopy Beaver, Splinter Beaver, Flying Beaver, Bald Beaver, Chops Beaver, Munchy Beaver, Clint Eats Wood, Harry Beaver, Nah, don't touch that beaver. And huge beaver. Oh, and a droopy beaver. Mm, we've got a no, no, we've got a droopy beaver already. Okay, so that is our colony. So I do ask, as it's the first episode, can you do me a couple of favors? One, if you like uh, silly pun names for beavers, uh, please click the like button. At the same time, if you want to see more silly, silly beavers and many, many puns, by all means, click the subscribe button. But first things we need to do is we have 90 food to get us up and running, no wood. So we need to get some wood up and running. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put our first uh, lumberjack flag right there. Looks good. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to put our second lumberjack flag. Uh, let's go with there. Okay. So obviously they both need paths. We're just going to run a path right across the front. Uh, we're going to have the maximum amount of construction beavers just to start with. Because we need to set up some construction tasks. We have not... Oh, actually, no. First thing we have to do is have them harvest all the wood. All the wood on our little island. But as you notice, we don't have a lot of wood. So before I let them do anything else... We're going to go straight into damming. Uh, I want to dam across there. It's only three tiles, but each dam is going to cost us 20 timber. So that's 60 timber we need to find ASAP. Because, like I said, this is hard difficulty. Which also means uh, we're going to put a lumberjack flag. I have three unemployed beavers. You know what? We're going to put them all on lumberjack flags. Yep. Yeah. And... As soon as they're built, we're probably going to take one person off. Eh. Yeah, we're definitely going to take one person off construction. And have them jump in and start... Start grabbing some wood. Hello? Bald beaver. Okay, bald beaver is out working. Nah, don't touch that beaver is also out working. At the same time, it's early game. We're also going to up... Uh, the working hours. So we're going to minimize the priority on that because although it's important, um, a water pump is way more important because we're running on... We're going to put that in the hole. Yes, we're going to put that in the hole. Uh, we have no water to start with. So we're going to set up a water pump. That's priority number one. Dams are going to be priority number two. Priority number three is probably going to be food. But before I do food, I need to plan out some things. We are going to have to rush a forester. Okay? We, we have to rush a forester. We don't really have a choice. Please. 
There we go. You are turning in. You're going doing uh, the pumping station. Excellent. Uh, so we're going to have to rush a forester. Now, to get a forester, I'm going to need to have some sort of way to power the forester. So we're going to start off with a water wheel right here, along with a lumber mill right beside it. Now, we're going to pause both these because they're not super important. But they are sort of important. So we're going to, you know, pause them for the moment. Uh, we're going to hook up the path. So at least the beavers can get here to build them. Next thing we're going to have to get, super important, is going to be a farmhouse. Because although we have we have some food, we're going to want some more food. Uh, we're going to set you for... Okay, so you're priority one, you're priority two, you're priority three. And plant crops, carrots, obviously, I can do... Four, eight, uh, five. That's 80 carrots. Okay, that's about as much as one little farmhouse can plant and harvest. I am going to add some extra just in case we get some dying off. Uh, but we're going to need to get the water pump done and then the dam. And then the farmhouse, because like I said, we're on hard difficulty. I'm not at all paranoid about not having nearly enough, uh, nearly enough water and, and, and having a drought. Because, yeah, I, I've heard bad stories. I've heard bad stories. So, step number one, get the dam up and running. Day one is gone. Uh, I have bumped up there. Uh, let's go for a 20-hour workday. Yeah, let's crank up their workday. Make, make them work the longer hours. Uh, force them to work all the hours. We definitely have more logs coming in than we've used, which is a good sign. And that just needs somebody to go sniff it. Once it's been sniffed fully, we will have our first dam piece in and running, which means they can start working on the second one. And whilst they were idle, they went and built our first part of our farmhouse. At the same time, we're going to want some water tanks. But water tanks are not the priority. No, 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 not water tanks. We, we need other things before we get water tanks. Probably this. We will see. At the same time, we will obviously need to uh, unlock a forester. To unlock a forester, I'm going to need an inventor. Uh, good news is we have some brown ground right here, which we can start on that. At the same time, they'd really like some housing. And because we're playing with uh, the folk tales, they need to have enough houses that they can actually have babies. And that's both a pro and a con. Uh, I downgrade that, and we're going to pause that. Um, you are not chopping. You have 20 out of 20 logs. Okay. Let's put some extra beavers into the workforce. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a whole lot of micromanaging the beavers to start with. Um, at least till we get things up and running. We're down to 53 we should probably put in a caravan flag and max the priority on that real quick. Uh, no beaver's got a sign to it. Okay, we'll pull one beaver off. Okay, dam's in. Step number one. Step number two is going to be the farmhouse. Uh, as soon as that's built, we can start planting, which will be great. Meantime, we're going to grab some berries to sort of hold us over, hopefully. Uh, I don't have anywhere for storage, so that's also something we need to contend with. Um, we have nowhere to store the excess food or potentially the excess timber. Um, yeah, it's a later jetty problem. At the moment, we're, we're, we're just happy that we're, we're damming up some of the water. So, end of day three, we're... I'm not confident. I'm not confident. If a drought hit now... Um, I would definitely be worried. At the same time, Munchie Beaver has grown up. So that's something. We've got extra workforce. I love it. I love it when the baby baby beavers uh, level up and join us and start actually working for their food. Okay. So we're going to set you to prioritize planting. Uh, I only want one beaver in there. I'm going to bring one beaver off construction. Okay. So that means housing shall be next. At the same time, I want to look at trying to set up for our next bit of forestry um because we have a very very limited supply of timber on our side of the lake now at least we can get across the river 
we can extend that out a little bit. So we're going to pop, pop, pop one lumberjack flag there. Uh, next one is, actually, let's bring that up again. So you can harvest most of that area. And ideally, I'd like one over here. Okay, so we're going to bring in path. Uh, I'm limited by how far the beavers will travel. So if I click on this, we can see they only get to this point. So I'm going to have to put a lumberjack flag. That was right, was it not? That is the edge of our reach. So priorities wise, uh, look, those can both be a higher priority. Uh, you're planting. There's one unemployed beaver, so we're going to put a second one of you to work. You have... Oh, you're out of logs. Okay, so we're going to pause you. Unpause you. Uh, pause you, because there's nothing left for you to cut down. Which means Flying Beaver is going to come down here. And we should be good to continue. Now, the housing, although one housing is nice, uh, as we can see, if we give them shelter, I get a little bit higher life expectancy and a little bit higher work, walking speed. Very, very nice bonuses. But... I really need housing for breeding. So until we get at least housing for 12 beavers, 11 beavers. Ah, oh, hurry, beaver has grown up. Uh, you've instantly gone to work. Excellent. Uh, you have nothing to chop. Can I... No, don't touch that. Flying beaver. Uh, you are also maxed out on berries. Okay, so we're going to need... I need to find jobs for beavers to do. Okay, let's put a second one out here. Oh. Well, there we go. There's extra jobs for them to do. They can go around and build things. Okay, so... You are... Done. I don't even see saplings that you can chop down. So... Oh, there's one sapling over there. Okay, that can go away. Uh, you are in the exact same boat. So that one can go away. Uh, you're at 20 of 20 logs. You're at 1 of 20. Perfect. Uh, you have no unemployed beavers. And you have one little logs. And we're going to have all of that be chopped. Because you can access out to most of this forest. But the point is, we have enough food that we should be okay at least for a little while. Uh, you're planting everything as flat out as you can. Uh... So we're going to finish the house. The house. And I think we want water tanks next. Because the moment we're pumping the water, and it's faster we're pumping the water, we're sort of drinking the water because I have no storage. And I'd really like storage if that's going to beep at me. I had four days to prep for a drought. To then have a drought show up in three days. Wow. Okay. All right, first things first. Uh, we're going to pull one of you off there, which will go chop wood. Uh, you can be unpaused as well, because the farmhouse can be paused. Uh, 21 food. And that's like three days away. Yeah, we're going to resume you. And pause. And on the Pause Droopy Beaver. Okay, so at least we've got food coming in. We've got timber coming in. We're waiting on the carrots to grow up. There's not what I can do about it. They're three days away. Uh, carrots have four day, are they not? Yeah. So I have this many berries to last us three days. Uh, same time, we have about zero water store stored. We're primed and ready for a drought. We're, nothing will go wrong, I promise. Okay, some simple basic facts, because let's just work with some facts. We have three water tanks now, okay? Which means I can store 90 water, okay? And I have 12 beavers. 12 beavers, uh, Ranger. Ranger was born. We have a new beaver. He's a Ranger. Um, whoop, she's a Ranger. She's a ringer. Uh, we can store 90 water, okay? I have 12 beavers. Each beaver drinks two water per day, which means I'm going to go through 20, 24 water per day, roughly. Let's, let's just work on 20 for round figures. 
which means currently being able to store 90 water means I should have enough water for about four days worth of drought. Which makes me feel a little bit more confident. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to unpause the inventor because I still need to actually have the research to unlock the forest. It's 60 research points. Researcher makes three points per whatever that is. I don't know. So I don't know how uh, many days worth of research we're going to need. And then we're going to need the water wheel. The water wheel is obviously needs to be up and running before we can power up the lumber mill. So with that done, we're going to unpause that. We have 27 wood currently. 25, well, we have 25, 27 wood. We're going to need 50 for the water wheel. Plus we're going to need 15. So that's at 65. Plus I need another 17 uh, for the forester. So... 85-ish wood. 85-ish wood total. Um, we might have that in what's here. If not, we can access this little bit of birch over here. And that is probably going to be enough. But then we're going to be out of wood. Which is a bit of a problem. Uh, second or I can't... No, I can't access the scavenger flag. Because, like, this stuff's going to be in our way before we can... Well, till we can actually dig it up. Alright. Water wheel. Okay. So, good news, we have a water wheel. Bad news, very, very bad news. Um, the drought starts in 0.3 days. So, by the time we get the lumber mill up and running, the drought will be on us, and the water wheel will no longer spin. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, other bit of bad news is we have three food to our name. And our carrots ripen tomorrow, uh, which is handy. And we also had Splinter, Splinter has leveled up. Splinter, it seems, was uh, always destined to be an inventor beaver. So he's off to invent new ways for us to do things. Uh, you, Clint Eats Wood, is completely idle. So we can pause you, and you're going to move across to the farmhouse. I'm going to... Drought started. Three days. Three days is not too bad. Not too bad. We, we can accept a three-day drought, I think. Uh, we're going to have Clint just plant what he can whilst he waits for the carrots to ripen. They should ripen any second now. And then I will probably just cancel whatever planting he hasn't done. Or he could just do all of it. Uh, three days. So I have 14 beavers, which means we're going to use 30 water per day. I actually have enough stored exactly for actually no let's for three days worth of drought we're gonna build in two more water tanks we're gonna max out the priority on you because i want you done so as soon as we the drought ends and the water wheel starts we should be good to go and there we go we have our very first amount of carrots up and running which we sort of need to harvest because we are be out of food Droopy beaver, droopy beaver. Can we're well, going to transport things around once you're idle? Sure, we'll pay that. Uh, no, actually, we won't pay that. You can go and become another farmer, or you can disappear. What, what did you get assigned to? That still has things to chop. That has things to chop. Yeah. Oh, lubricated beaver was born and a toothy beaver was born. Well, we have new beavers. Ah, there we go. That's what Droopy was set to, set to go to Lumber Mill. All right, so hopefully we can start bringing in food fast enough that we don't starve our poor little beavers. Uh, at the same time, we're going to try and chop whatever we can. And I guess we just see how the drought goes. Actually, we might put another Lumberjack and a Lumberjack and... Then we should be able to pause that one. Yeah, because they have literally... Oh, actually, no, there is there's still a tiny bit out here that they can chop. Yeah, that, that, that has logs. Yep, they can chop that. Uh, working beavers. So we're going to try and get the small water tank up and running. And we have 14 out of 15 housing. Um, we're going to have to get another lodge. They're breeding like beavers already. Hey, we now have happy beavers. 
because they have carrots and they have shelter and we haven't killed any yet. We're only halfway through the drought. All right, first thing we're going to do is grab some storage. I think log pile seems pointless. We're going to grab a warehouse and we're going to pop you in there. And I'm definitely going to straighten up that road. Uh, let's delete those tiles because they don't do anything. We're going to put down one more house so we have room for more beavers. If we get a small warehouse, at least we can store some of the food. Do I set you to food only? I guess this early on, I, it doesn't matter. We just want to store anything that we can store, we're going to store. But in the future, we're going to need a dedicated warehouse for just food. All right, it's a new day with a new beaver. Uh, we have a small warehouse, which is just about built. Uh, we also uh, brought into this world the Lumber Squirrel ex Esquire. Uh, also, Justin Beaver was born. And we now have zero idle beavers. Yep, okay, still zero idle beavers. They're going to get assigned over here. Uh, flying beaver. Flying beaver is playing with wood. Excellent. Uh, so we just need to escape the end of the drought, which is tomorrow, which is good. And then we can turn on our lumber mill. Once we have our lumber mill, we can start making planks for our forester. We need 60 research. We have 63. So we can actually start planting our own timber. Now we have this bit of birch that we can still burn through. But I have a feeling I'm going to be planting both birch and... Along with probably some maple. Because we are going to want some maple in the long run. But for right now, I think we're going to need some birch. Alright, so the drought has ended, which is good. It's great. It also means we're going to be able to unpause uh, the lumber mill, which means chomps can get to work. Unfortunately, there's no power. But chomps, in the meantime at least, should be able to find some logs, bring them over, shove them in the building, have them ready. Same time, we're going to unlock the forester, because that's the main goal. Uh, we're going to drop you... I'm going to drop you on the coastline. Okay, uh, we're going to obviously have to hook up a path to that. At the same time, I will need to put a, a lumberjack here. But I have pre-marked out some tiles. And... I pre-marked them out with carrots because I couldn't actually access uh, this tab yet. But we're going to be planting this whole area in birch, actually, all the way through to here. Now, birch is not the most ideal for planting and cultivating and, and, and digging up. But the area that I've planted should be enough that what's actually going to happen is by the time we've planted the whole lot, the first lot, the first trees should be ready to harvest and then we should be able to harvest the whole lot before the next set is ready um and it should just continuously running through i, I have done a tutorial video i'll link it up the top right hand corner for timberborn and trees and foresters and planting and all that sort of stuff but our plan is with just this amount of birch we should be able to run through the whole lot by the time it's all planted we can well by the time the first one the last one is planted the first one matures and we can chop the whole lot down at least that's the plan at the same time, we have four children. It's not enough yet. We need Chomps to do something. But for him to do something, we need the water wheel turning, which means we need the dam actually overflowing and water leaving. And go, water wheel. Go! Please? Please? Don't tell me I managed to pick a spot in the river where the water doesn't actually... Uh, hey, 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 hey! There we go. Alright. Um, so we've had Ranga Beaver grow up. Ranga's off to a lumberjack flag to chop absolutely nothing because they have burnt through everything. Yep. Alright, so we're going to unpause you. We're going to have to pause you i guess and then rang can come over here and work over here chop the last couple of bits of trees here and unfortunately i'm completely stuck until we get the seven planks for the forest up and running there's nothing i can really do okay so uh we have birch being planted over here obviously and i miscounted slightly i counted about 90 tiles here turns out i need around about 200 uh, so, first off, we're going to jump to plant trees, birch, uh, we're going to count three, six, seven, uh, plus two tiles at the top, we'll call that ten, and we're going to want a hundred tiles worth. 
Yeah, three, six, nine, ten. It's a little bit short, but that's a start. Uh, at the same time, I have put down our second forester set up to make pine trees because uh, we're going to need a lot of pine being planted. Uh, just, just trees outright because at the moment we're in holy pattern. We don't really have any more trees. Uh, that's pretty much gone. Yeah. Uh, there's one sapling here. Um, there's a couple of saplings here that one of them just grew up. Of course it did. So until this birch is online and potentially this pine, there is nothing we can do. I was looking at putting in a dedicated power wheel to make sure this actually ran all the time. And then I realized... We don't really have the timber. It is uh, 40 timber. And um, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. And we don't really need to rush. We, we have had a number of beavers grow up. Uh, Justin Beaver's grown up. Toothy's grown up. Uh, Lubricated Beaver's grown up. Uh, Munchy Beaver was born. We, we are leveling up the beavers fairly quickly. In fact, so quickly that I don't actually have jobs for them to do. But the important things for the first episode. We have food stabilizer. Food is good. We have trees stabilized. They're going to take a while to kick in, but that's perfectly fine. Nothing to do in range. Uh, even your sapling is gone. Trying to do an outro here, Mr. Beaver. I didn't even see who that was. It was you. It was not Lumber School. It was Ranger. Of course it's the Ranger. Um... So, we have food stabilized, we have accommodation stabilized, we have water stabilized, and we have trees stabilized. Which means, I get to thank you guys so much for watching, do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode of Timberborn when we continue our hard series. First drought down, first drought done on hard, not so bad, three days in, I call that a win. Next up, um, probably more droughts. I, I have a feeling we're going to be going through a number of droughts. At the same time, I probably want to move that.